He, he only really hated two things in life, the banks and the rain. I mean, the banks, the banks put him through hell. So, like, my, the only advice he ever really gave him was never trust the banks, which is extremely difficult advice to implicate, to put in your life. Um, <laughs> but the other thing was rain. The rain could finish him off. And, you know, he was Irish. He was an Irish man. And I used to say, really, Dad, you've got to make peace with this, love. This is where we live. Like, there's rain and it's not going to go away. He had a catchphrase. He would be standing looking at the window and he would say, it could be worse. You could be in the West. And <laughs> when, I got, when I got my very first job as an actress, right, when I was 19, I rang home to tell him because he really needed kids off the payroll. AS, <laughs> a, AP, there was five of us, right? And he, he was kind of done. So I rang him to tell him I got a job and he answered the phone. He loved to answer the phone with a cough as well. To, oh. to sleep. It would have been very popular in the COVID times. You go, ah, 8062. And I'd say, uh, I said, hi, Dad. I said, I've got a job. And he said, oh, my God. Oh, that's, oh, that's fantastic. Love. That's great news. What, what is it? And I said, it's an acting job, I said, with a company called Druid. I said, they're brilliant. They're brilliant. They're one of the best. Oh, that's fabulous. One of the best. It must be in London, is it, love? I said, no, it's in Galway. <laughs> I can't explain the, the silence. There was tumbleweed blowing through the phone. And, and I, I said to him, um, he said, Jesus, love, you can't live in Galway. The rain! <laughs> he said, you'll either lose your mind or you'll take to the drink. I said, Dad, congratulations is the word that you're looking for here. <laughs> and he said, oh, you're right, love, you're right. Uh, no, well done, well done. But I'm sorry to have to tell you, love, I won't be coming to see you anytime soon because I have to tell you, love, the sun is in your eyes the whole way to Galway. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you just couldn't win. And, and there's, that is true. The sun is in your eyes the whole way to go away. But funny. why in the name of God did he never invest in a pair of sunglasses? Yeah. <laughs> and nobody did. Or none take of, the train. And none of, the, none of that generation owned a pair of sunglasses. If you wore sunglasses in the 80s, you were presumed you were blind. <laughs> <laughs> Blind or thick, <laughs> thick from the point of view that it was also considered to be an awful extravagance to buy sunglasses back then because people used to say, oh, well, look at it, it's sunny now, but it won't be sunny at six o'clock and like, it definitely won't be sunny tomorrow. You just suck it up and squint like the rest of us. <laughs> that was, oh, that's so was the thinking. <laughs> so did your dad, uh, you said like he was Irish, but he was born in London, your mum was uh, from Derry, you were reared in Drogheda, you're one of five. Was that all just the perfect storm to, to be funny, like when you're yeah, in a big that, family like that? That is actually the best way you could possibly put it. It was a perfect storm to create comedy. I mean, clashes of culture, clashes of religion, clashes of politics, anything like that makes for drama and, and usually comedy. Um, and, and yeah, my mother was a dairy girl. I mean, for example, here, here's another little bit I tell on stage. Like, my father called me Dirdry. And <laughs> I, I tried to, as I say on stage, because he couldn't pronounce the name he gave me. But the reason he called me Dirdry was that my mother, being from Derry, said Dirdry. So that's how you say Dirdry with a dairy accent, Dirdry. But without the dairy, that becomes Dirdry. So he said Dirdry, my siblings said Dirdry. And I thought that was what my name was until I went out into the world and realised, oh, that, that's not a name. <laughs> That, that, that dirty is not a name. It's a, a coronation street. No, and this first became apparent to me when I went to the pantomime in the gaiety as a child. <laughs> and I, for whatever reason, I was one of the children that was hooshed up. You know when they say with a few kids oh, come no, up on the stage? Yeah. Yeah. We were shoved up, shoved up. Go on, get up. You weren't asked, by the way. There was none of that parenting that we do, <laughs> do now. You Would you like consent? to go up? <laughs> Would you like? No, it was get up. That can entertain us all. We bought the tickets. So up I went and Maureen Potter said to me, and what's your name, little girl? And I said, Dirty, and she said, Geraldine. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, Geraldine. She went, Geraldine. And Dirty Geraldine, the Dirty Geraldine, went on for like five minutes till eventually. Oh I could see Maureen Potter getting deeply annoyed with me because this one has taken up oh far God. too much it's of my stage time. So she eventually looked at me and said, it's Georgie. Is that, is that it? Is it Georgie? <laughs> and, and she turned to the audience and she said, it's Georgie, everybody, which was my, which got a massive laugh, by the way, from the audience and was my first experience of public humiliation. <laughs> and, and I remember thinking, oh, I think I could make a living out of this. That is absolute well, gold. Oh my God.